Hi student. So let's discuss about mass transfer at the vapor and liquid interface. Let's look at the given diagram. To discuss the mass transfer between phases, we are going to use the two film theory. In the absorption, solute from gas phase must diffuse into liquid. So we have to follow that solute from gas phase must diffuse into liquid phase. The rate of diffusion in both phases affect the overall rate of mass transfer. According to two film theory, we have to make two assumptions. One, the equilibrium is assumed at the interface. Two, the resistance to mass transfer in the two phases are added to get the overall resistance. Now, let's look at the next diagram that we have here. In the absorption process, we are applying two film theory. In this theory, diffusion of solute occur from gas phase to liquid phase and the rate of diffusion in both gas and liquid phase affect the overall transfer. According to two film theory, equilibrium is assumed at the interface that is between YAI and XAI. So these two components in vapor form and in liquid form they are in equilibrium. Alright student, so let's describe the mass transfer occur at the interface between vapor and liquid. Let's assume that solute A diffuse from gas into the liquid phase. The mass transfer only occur as solute A passing through the bulk gas, then it passes through the interface vapor and liquid before it can pass through the liquid phase. The concentration gradient must occur to cause this mass transfer. So, as we have assumed before, the concentration of YA is higher compared to the concentration of YAI. Therefore, mass transfer occur due concentration gradient that we have. Same thing occur in the liquid phase. We have a concentration gradient between concentration of XAI and concentration of XA in liquid form. We have higher concentration of XAI at the interface and lower concentration of solute of XA at the bulk liquid. So mass transfer occur at the interface into the liquid. 